Welcome to Hollywood. E.T. Adventure is a classic. This is the main reason I'm giving it four out of five stars. E.T. is one of the originals still open, dating back to 1990. While we were in line, or the queue, Steven Spielberg on TV screens explains the ride. Then after that, a ride attendant takes your name, enters it into a computer, and E.T. says your name at the end of the ride. It's a bit clunky, doesn't work all the time. The ride itself has you on a bicycle, dodging police just like in the 1982 movie and then you go through a portal where you arrive on E.T.'s home of the Green Planet. It's not great but it's a classic so I give it 4 out of 5. I want that donut. So you like donuts eh? Mm -hmm. Well have all the donuts in the world! <laughs> Next up, oh god, it's the Simpsons ride. Not good at all. You can see me shaking my head. The pre-show and the queue were fun. ride itself is a motion simulator using the huge IMAX screens and projectors. You're on a roller coaster ride in Krusty Land where all of the Simpsons family and characters are featured. Simpsons jokes and goofiness are great, keeping everyone laughing, but if you have any sort of motion sickness, avoid, avoid, avoid. That was amazing. I want to go on it again. Uh, it was really good. I kept my eyes closed the entire time so I wouldn't be sick for the next two days. <laughs> Depends on if you can handle simulator rides. So really, yeah, I can't. So although everything there was a sim simulator ride. <laughs> oh well, I give it a one out of five stars because unfortunately <laughs> there's a worse ride to come. Next up, it's King and Codus Twirl and Hurl. It's a spin you around kind of ride. In the guide map, they call it a intergalactic spin. Your performance today, chicken food. Pretty good, yeah. I tried to. I mean, got a little bit dizzy, but not so bad. For a kid, I give it a three out of five stars. Men in Black. This was a fun interactive ride based on the movie. You use a laser gun to blast aliens and collect points while doing so. Here's a helpful hint. You don't have to keep pressing the trigger. Just hold it down and it keeps shooting. You get a lot of points quicker that way. The queue in the pre-show were really cool, as you can see in these clips. And the ride itself was fun. It wasn't perfect. I'll give it four out of five stars. So now you see us entering the wizarding world of Harry Potter in Diagon Alley. This is called Diagon Alley. I was so excited. It was awesome. Hey. 
So the ride we went on was called Harry Potter Escape from Gringotts. You are in Gringotts Bank and when you first walk in you're actually in the bank and you see all of the goblins along working the bank and it's so realistic you actually feel like you're a part of the movie. It takes you through kind of a you know stairwell and you feel like you're down in the caves of the the bank and it it's kind of like when basically like when they go down into the bank where you're on the car that takes you down into the tunnels to all of the the vaults that they have so you feel like you're in the movie uh, except you're on more of a roller coaster ride where you have multiple rows and multiple people in a car. It's super cool, especially for a Harry Potter nerd like myself. I'm so excited. <laughs> really excited. Once you're on the ride, it turns into kind of like a 3D experience with the roller coaster mixed in. Fast pace, again, it's simulation. So if you are sensitive to simulation rides, you may get a little bit queasy. It's not as bad as uh, like the Transformers or the Simpsons because you still feel like you're more on a roller coaster. There, It mixes in some live action sequences to really enhance the experience. So the ride storyline is really uh, the events that happen in the Deathly Hallows part two when they go into the bank to get one of the horcruxes you really feel like you're a part of that there's the dragon there's all the different characters that were a part of that sequence high energy action-packed so i give this ride four stars i had to save my five star rating for another harry potter ride that comes later on if you love harry potter like i do you definitely want to go on this ride Next up is the Fast and the Furious ride. Best ride here. When you're here, it's your family. You don't turn your back on family. Family, family, family. I don't have friends. I got family. When you're here, it's your family. This attraction is officially called Fast and the Furious Supercharged. It's based on the Fast and the Furious movies, all nine of them. Nine? Nine maybe. I think so. I'm not gonna bother looking it up. This is another motion simulator ride. We've seen other videos describe this disaster as being so bad, it's actually good. It's so bad, it's good. The queue is okay with the displays and cars. The best part was the pre-show areas. Go! It blended the movie characters that were up on TV screens, explaining the storyline of the ride, and then you had live Universal Studio actors who were, <laughs> who were self-aware at how ridiculous this ride is. This provided several laugh out loud moments, which is obviously a good thing. You're loaded onto a party bus, and after something goes wrong and you have to get away from bad guys, the simulator ride takes you through San Francisco. There's screens on both sides of the party bus, and there's so much going on that you have no idea where you should be looking. There's action over here, there's action over here, and it's, it's just difficult to understand what the heck is going on it's just chaos and then all of a sudden it's over and then when it's over you're anointed as being part of the family it was so fun that was fun it felt that so realistic good. on top of that the cgi is so bad it felt that so was realistic the cgi is so bad i can't give it a one star because we knew ahead of time that our expectations should be really low. And the pre-show was so good that I will allow bumping this up to two stars. It was so bad it was good. The mummy. Mommy! Revenge of the Mummy! Revenge of the Mummy is a thrill ride. This roller coaster lasts about three minutes with a top 
speed of 45 miles per hour. The queue in the pre-show features props and drawings from the 1999 movie. Then it transforms into an Egyptian tomb. It felt very real. and the ride starts out slow, taking you through a couple of rooms with the story of what's happening. Again, all based on the movie. After some really cool special effects, you're launched backwards for a few seconds. Then you are taking on a high speed in the dark roller coaster ride. When you come to a stop, you think the ride is over. But the ride attendant behind a glass control booth is taken out by the mummy. He breaks the glass and sets the ceiling on fire. He yells, prepare to forfeit your souls. Death is only the beginning. You're then launched on another high speed roller coaster ride in the dark. It was a lot of fun. Great story incorporated into the ride. Can't possibly walk off this ride thinking it wasn't fun. Really fun. I give it five out of five stars. <sighs> mission from God. We got a full tank of gas, half a pack of cigarettes, it's dark, and we're wearing sunglasses. Hit it. Last up for this video is Hogwarts Express. Hogwarts Express. This is a Harry Potter based train ride that connects the two parks. King's Cross Station in London at Universal Studios in Hogsmeade Station in Islands of Adventure. Obviously, you need a ticket to both parks to ride this ride. This is great because it serves an actual purpose. No need to walk to and from both parks when you could just hop on the train. Each way on the train ride is a different experience. In the enclosed train cab, which fits about six people. The windows on each side shows a video sequence as if you're in the movie. It's a cool experience, experiencing the Hogwarts Express like Harry Potter and his friends did in the movies. It's amazing. I give it a four out of five stars. <laughs> Thanks for joining us this week. Part two of Universal Studios coming up in video 209. And many more to come after that here at Universal. Death is only the beginning. Death is almost the beginning. Is only. Oh. Death is only the beginning.